So here's 20 fins in one inch. This is an OEM Honda CRV. That's the Honda CRV manufactured by Denso condenser. Now, it took some work for me to get it in there, but I, I'm just gonna tell you, and you can see the difference by the wide spacing on this one compared to the last. That's 14 fins in one inch. And if you notice another thing, look at how wide space the refrigerant tubing is. Uh, I didn't even bother counting the tubing because I could see right off the bat, it's not as tight as this. So you got a lot less tubing for refrigerant passages and a lot less cooling fins. And of course it's an aftermarket. And who is this aftermarket? Who's the responsible party? Oh, there we go, the responsible party. Exactly what you would not want to put on your vehicle if you ever wanted to uh, operate your vehicle in a hot climate. Arizona, come to mind. Texas in summertime. Nevada. Utah. Definitely wouldn't want that crap on your car. All right, guys. Oh, here's another thing. If you live in those really, really hot climates, this is what you want to do. If your vehicle doesn't have it, or if somebody replaced a radiator and it doesn't have the foam fins or the plastic pieces are missing. Do you see, do you see that gap? Too bad I have the light on because now you can't see. But can you see that gap between the radiator? Let's see if I can get my hand. Right there. There's the radiator. There's the condenser. Do you see the size of that gap right there? If you could get some foam and close up that gap, between the radiator where I'm sticking my finger in right here. If you can put something from here to here so air doesn't get sucked in between the condenser and the radiator, it's forced to all go through the radiator. And you see this big old ass gap back here? Let's see, you see the compressor back there? You see this big opening back here? When the hood is closed, the fans are sucking. This, become, this is a highly negative pressure under the hood becomes positive pressure. You got 190 plus degree air coming out of the radiator. It hits the engine and uh, the catalytic converter, it heats up that air. And when you come to stops or you're in stop and grow tra traffic, it comes around here and it gets sucked in in front of the radiator behind the condenser. And in severe cases, it could even get sucked in in front of the condenser, reheating the condenser with 160, 190 degree air when you come up to stop signs or you're in that crawling stop and go traffic, but it's 110 degrees outside and your AC sucks. Well, if you could close all this off, close all this off, go climb to the top, make sure, see this gap right here? You close up all these gaps. So all this hot, high pressure air, see where my finger is coming up through here? Doesn't get sucked around. You go down to the bottom of the vehicle close off all those gaps anything that comes from the engine compartment that you can see if you can see it's open hot air when you come to stop and go traffic hot air creeps around and comes up and rolls around those are all things that you can do on your personal vehicle or for if the customer is willing to pay and they really want their AC improved and stop and go traffic those are all, and not using aftermarket condensers like that that's definitely one thing you don't want to do if you're in a hot climate all right, guys, I'll see you later.